when do you fast? When do you fast? I was, to my shame, preparing this message, and I think I've fasted for the Lord twice. I fasted for myself a lot, intermittent fasting, stay lean and mean. I fasted for world vision at the 30-hour famine several times. But when have I fasted and set aside time to know more of Him? If you want to engage in this, I hope you will as a church. I hope we can be, be, be people that do this. What's a simple way to start incorporating this into our lives? I would say pick a time and pick a spiritual practice. Maybe you want to pick a time this week. You say, you know what? On Wednesday, I'm going to fast from my lunch, or I'm going to fast from my breakfast. If you already skipped breakfast, it doesn't count. Fast from lunch. I'm not going to eat, and I'm going to partake in a spiritual practice. Maybe I'm going to read God's Word. I'm going to do some extra time of that. Maybe there's something that I'm wrestling with, like a crossroads moment, and I want to look at God's Word because I've got relationship problems. I'm going to look at what God says about marriage, about love. Or maybe I'm going to take this time to pray. I'm going to spend an hour, and I'm just going to listen to the Lord. Or I'm going to intercede. I'm going to pray on behalf of the persecuted church. Or I'm going to address sin in my life. Pick a time. Pick a practice. Maybe this can be a regular thing. Maybe you build it up to a day or several days. And maybe it's a once a month thing. Maybe it's a once a week. This is a mile wide. There's always instances where we can respond to what God is doing in our life. And would we be a church marked by this hunger for God that I've tasted this and seen this and I want this more than anything else and I will use everything in my life to know and apprehend more of this. What does a church look like when that happens? What does a community look like when a church of God is like that there? God, we thank you for your word and that you show us that we are people who can meet you with all of ourselves, with our body and our soul and that the path to abundance is through abstinence, that when we have little, we gain much, and when we are hungry, we will be satisfied. We thank you for the paradoxes of this that show us just how upside down our thinking is and how you came to set these things right. And as we approach this topic of fasting, Father, we just acknowledge our reluctance, our fear. It's so easy to be comfortable, and yet you call us out into things that are better and deeper and greater forms of freedom. And yet you call us to die to ourselves at the same time. So we ask, we thank you for the gift of food. And we, we would use food to know you and glorify you. As we feast and as we fast, would we be people who know you and show you through every facet of our lives. So I pray, I pray against fear. I pray for greater trust that your spirit would be illuminating to people now. Where they can do this, how they can do this, and what we can do this for. Would we be a people marked by this? We ask all this in your son's name. Amen.